Christ community, friends and family, this is Pastor James here with another Wednesday's Word on the third week of December, uh, December 16th, uh, 2020. I hope each and every one of you are healthy and well. And uh, I know we have a snowstorm coming through, so I hope you stay warm and safe. Uh, today I want to share with you a devotional from uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8 through 10. 2 Corinthians 4, verse 8 through 10. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not driven to despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. Always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. Amen. We're almost at the end of uh, the year, and I'm sure we're looking forward to the new year. Uh, But if I can sum up this past year for many of us, I think verse 8 and 9 hits it right on the money. We've been beat. We've been hurt. We've experienced loss. uh, But we, we haven't been destroyed. There are many times, though, that consumer Christians can stop at verse 9. And use that as as an excuse to throw it back to God and say, Why did God let this happen? Why did God let bad things happen to good people? And we don't go into verse 10. Where Paul testifies about always carrying in the body the death of Jesus. And I thought about it. Why why don't people want to carry in their bodies, their lives, the death of Jesus? And it's because people don't want suffering. People don't want to carry burdens, other burdens. They have their burdens, so they don't want to carry other burdens. But Paul's testimony here clearly shows that suffering in Christ, suffering in his ministry, brought forth life. Like any Christian, Paul wanted the life of Jesus evident in him. Paul knew that this could only happen if he carries in his body the dying of our Lord Jesus Christ. People without faith aren't even going to know that trials and sufferings under God's sovereign plan can ultimately bless somebody and grow somebody. You see, there are too many people making excuses, saying they can't find Christ. They're looking for Christ in all the wrong places. People don't realize that sometimes we got to look into our hearts and see that Christ is already residing in our hearts. You see, Christ residing in our hearts should cause us to hope in times where it's hopeless. It should cause us to joy, have joy in times where it seems joyless. People who do not have faith do not realize that to die is to gain. The ultimate privilege we have as people of Christ is to witness death being defeated, to witness the resurrection, the heavenly gain that we all should yearn for. You know, as we continue to reflect on what's been one heck of a year in 2020, I pray Paul's testimony can be the encouragement and challenge that we all need. To die is to gain. And if we don't have death, we don't have the resurrection. If we don't have the yearning and and the wanting to carry in our lives the bodily death of Jesus, we're never going to be able to fully comprehend and fathom the powerful resurrection of Jesus manifested in our lives. You can't have resurrection if you don't have the death. You can't have Jesus and His blessings if you don't take a step back to carry in your lives, your bodies, the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. I pray this testimony for all of us as an encouragement, as a a challenge, but most importantly, maybe that's the guidance that we need as we wrap up 2020 and look forward to 2021 and the season of Advent. I pray a special blessing for all of you as we continue to uh, wait in anticipation and expectation for our Lord and Savior, our Messiah, our King of Kings, Jesus Christ. God bless you all. Love you, but God loves you more.